Okay, I wanted to uh, show you the uh, uh, size of the hole that's drilled tangent to the inter in interior of this uh, flare tube, or the blower tube. There's eight holes, and these are this is a number 30 drill bit. Uh, I need to sit down and calculate the air surface area of that hole and see if it's anywhere near uh, um, uh, <coughs> the same surface area as the open area of this of this tube, which is a half inch pipe, I think. Um, what I can do is, and I plan to do is, is drill three, two more rows of these same holes in the pipe so that I get a larger surface area and maybe a larger burn area out of this um, and to uh, increase the airflow and uh, and decrease the restriction of of airflow. Uh, I mean, this will probably help uh, the uh, the gasifier. Um, I know if you uh, get this too aggressive that uh, you'll be providing too much oxygen and, uh, and not restricting the air. The, uh, air. Well, this is a restricted uh, air combustion process so too much air is, is not good. Um, what that does is just burns all your fuel up. What you want to do is, is uh, restrict the amount of air going in so that it gets hot enough but yet doesn't burn your gas up. So uh, it's a it's a balancing act, so to speak. So the list of items that I have here to to correct on this gas fire is to seal up this mating surface with the, uh, the burn cone so that it's sealed, and then uh, also fix the. Uh, uh, flange here for the igniter port. Fix the uh, little gap that I have right here on the uh, uh, ash door. Um, <clears throat> drill more holes in, in this guy here to re uh, reduce the restriction here. Uh, replace the seal on the on the top lid here. Um, I need to find a different blower motor than the ones that I have. They just don't put out enough pressure. I've already spent uh, upwards of $200 on different blowers. <coughs> this this being one of them, I'm not very happy with it. Um, I, uh, I spent uh, <coughs> money on one of these little blowers that uh, doesn't put out very much at all. I spent uh, $80 on this blower, but it's it's very wimpy uh, as far as uh, uh, any pressure that it puts out. Uh, I mean, it puts out a 57 uh, CFM, but the pressure that it puts out is is very wimpy. Uh, it's less than a quarter of a of a uh, inch of water in uh, pressure so I'm not happy with it. What I may end up doing is is uh, using this motor and uh, designing and 3D printing a uh, housing that has is, has higher closer tolerances to the the fan assembly and the outer housing assembly so that I increase the amount of pressure that it produces and that may be what I end up with is, is this motor and uh, a, a 3D printed housing for the blower. Um, this is a Dayton motor um, it's 12 volt it uh, draws about uh, uh, six amps of current. No, wait a minute here. Let's see if I can get a closer view here. Mm, can't seem to get a... Okay. 
And anyway, I think it is one and a half amps of current as all this motor pulls. I don't know what the RPM is. Oh, there it is, 3450. So it's 3450 RPM. That's, I would think that that would be fast enough. I know some of these leaf blowers and some of those run at 16,000 RPM, but they're loud and noisy and obnoxious. But that may be what I need to get to the, the pressure that I need. But anyway, this is a, a Dayton blower. It was 85 bucks. This one over here was like 40 bucks. <coughs> No, actually, you know what? This one over here was a hundred and eight dollars. This one was forty dollars. The vacuum cleaner that I showed you earlier, the black one, wherever it is, let's see. Oh, it's in the garage here. This 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 one was uh, eighty dollars. So I've spent. Uh, Far, far more than two hundred dollars on the the three fans that I currently have, and none of them really fit, fit the bill for what I need. Um, I'm a bit frustrated with uh, buying fans for this thing. Uh, if anybody has a suggestion or an idea of what I need to do to to get the 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 inches of water pressure that I need and the the CFM that I need. Uh, according to my calculations, I really only need about CS 14 to 15 CFM to, to be equivalent to the engine that I'm connecting it to. Uh, if, I, if I did my calculation right, uh, uh, 210 CFM or 210 CC engine is going to draw into the intake around 15 CFM. Uh, as it runs at uh, 1500 RPM. Um, that's 1500 RPM I would think is a typical um, motor RPM for a generator. I don't know that for a fact but I'm, I'm guessing it's somewhere around 1500 RPM. But uh, anyway these these fans are, do not fit the bill. This one uh, is bad because the brushes are internal of the gas path this one's bad because it doesn't produce enough pressure and it also the motor motor is in the gas path so eventually that, that, those uh, uh, terpenes and, and tar is going to get inside that motor and destroy it so it, it won't last very long. What you need is an external motor where the shaft is the only thing that's exposed to the, the uh, tars. Um, so this is the type of a, a blower that I need, but this, the housing on this, you can see the, the squirrel cage in here isn't mated closely to the, uh, the housing, so it doesn't produce a lot of pressure. Uh, the pressure that you need uh, is, is really pretty good. I spent another $49 on a, another uh, blower, and I'll, I'll show you that in just a moment. This is the uh, uh, fourth blower motor that I purchased. It was $49 from Overton. Bought it on uh, the internet. It wasn't through eBay or, or uh, Amazon. It was just through Overton.com, I think. But this uh, motor, in their advertisement, uh, advertised that it would put out uh, what was it? 2.5 psi, and if you convert that psi to uh, w water column inches, that's over 83 uh, water column inches. So it puts out a fair amount of pressure, and it also says that it puts out uh, 15 cfm, I believe. So I mean, this this will probably do the job. But the problem is, is that you can see that this unit is fairly small and uh, you also notice that it has some some clips here so you can connect it directly to a battery. Uh, this unit pulls 33 amps of current. That's a lot of current uh, at 12 volts. Uh, 
and that's over 600 watts of uh, power uh, that it's going to pull. Uh, that's a you know a fair amount of energy to try to come up with if you're uh, uh, you know trying to get a generator started. If your battery's low, you may not be able to get run this thing at uh, if it's you know going to pull 33 amps. The other issue is is that the uh, blowing output here is uh, a, a small fitting and uh, it has a, a hose that's it's very inexpensive cheap it's and uh, the, the hose that I that, that came with it I try it was very very stiff and I tried to straighten it out and it was like 75 degrees in the house and so uh, when I tried to straighten it out it the the hose cracked and broke. I wasn't real happy about that. It's cheap Chinese crap. Uh, this is the uh, fitting that fits on here. Um, I'd have to 3D print some uh, something to, to, to mate this up to a, to a larger hose. Um, the, the other issue is the input port here, where the where the vacuum occurs, uh, is uh, also a, a specialized uh, fitting. Um, they send you these fittings to to fit in there. Uh, not very impressed with that. Uh, this this fits in here. It's cheap cheap plastic. Let's see if I can get it connected in here. There it is. It fits in there and the twists to, to lock. I mean I, I could probably 3D print some connectors for this. But again, what I'm worried about is if the uh, my guess is is that the uh, the brushes are back here, but the whole motor is exposed to the gas as it passes through here for for cooling. I'll bet I'll bet they purposely uh, uh, run the the stream of of uh, gases over the motor windings to cool them. Um, where it's pulling 33 amps of current, um, if you don't cool those windings, I'm sure that it's going to melt down. And I already read some some uh, reviews online after I purchased it that said that uh, if you run this for more than about five minutes, uh, it gets extremely hot. So uh, I haven't been. Uh, I should have done more research on these blower motors before I purchased them, but I was hoping that they would work and. Uh, uh, maybe I maybe my problem is I got more money than cents. But anyway, um, this is the frustration I'm having with the four different blower motors that I purchased. I don't recommend any one of them. Uh, I have not found the uh, consummate blower motor yet. Uh, but when I do, I will certainly share that. Um, Anyway, this is uh, where I'm at uh, with the uh, gasifier. Um, I wanted to show you that this uh, inspection trough here. That's all the water that I produced uh, while I was running. By, but I've only run just a little tiny bit of wood through here. In fact, uh, that may be one of the problems that I had is that I didn't run it, allow it to run long enough. Um, the uh, bucket of wood that I used for for firing this up is right here. It's, it's 10 pounds of wood and I only stoked, I only used about a fourth of that bucket to, to fire it up the day I ran it. Um, and I found that these pieces that I've cut here of, uh, you know, salvage pieces of construction lumber, uh, two by fours, is uh, probably not cut small enough. But uh, anyway, 
Um, I think I've done a, a fairly good job of uh, reproducing Flash 001's gasifier. Um, uh, with the caveat that uh, the, uh, the modifications that I've made uh, have not proven out to be uh, good ones uh, uh, so far, but uh, I am uh, endeavoring, endeavoring to fix those problems and uh, I appreciate uh, Flash001 spending his time uh, putting up 26 videos, uh, he has spent a tremendous amount of time and effort to share this with us. Uh, I appreciate that. I want him to know that. Um, uh, but anyway, um, I'll get gonna do these modifications to to this and fire it up again and uh, let you know what I uh, found. But I'm gonna post these videos that I've just created up on the internet. Um, anyway, this is uh, all good automation.